We're going to talk a bit this morning about kidney cancer, not something that we focus on often enough, but so great this morning to have Dr. Jeffrey Mullins, a urologist at CHI Memorial. Good to have you. Thanks for having me. So you were saying that it is fairly a rare cancer, about 60,000? Yeah, so to put things in perspective, the most common non-skin cancer in men would be prostate cancer. And last year there was an estimated 180,000 new cases of prostate cancer. So about a third of, um, is the prevalence of kidney cancer. And yet it needs to have a lot of attention because if it is not diagnosed early and the cancer spreads, you're in some real trouble. Right, kidney cancer is one of those tumors when localized to the kidney is very, very curable. However, God forbid it were to spread outside the kidney, you're looking at a rather incurable situation. We've made a lot of advances with different forms of immunotherapy and things like that, but still with uh, metastasized kidney cancer, we're looking at you know, prolonging life, not necessarily a cure in most cases. And even in the cases where you catch it early and the outlook is optimistic, as you well know as a surgeon, that poses then its own set of problems. So you're always looking for ways to improve your surgical techniques enter what you have now at Memorial. Right, so the, a lot of kidney tumors are diagnosed when they're actually fairly small, less than four centimeters. As you can see there on the screen, that's a, about a four or four and a half centimeter uh, tumor. In the past, all those tumors would be removed laparoscopically with the whole kidney coming out or even open. Now with the advent of robotic technology over the past 10 years or so, we're able to offer more patients kidney sparing procedures or a partial nephrectomy where we remove only the tumor leaving the rest of the kidney behind thus preserving renal function and we found out that the the cancer outcomes of a whole kidney removal versus only the tumor coming out are basically the same. Otherwise people I'm sure were afraid gee if I go through this full kidney removal now I'm gonna have to go on dialysis. Right. So certain people who have risk factors for kidney disease, including high blood pressure, diabetes, uh, pre-existing kidney disease, they're at very high risk for dialysis after taking out the whole kidney. The reality is, is most pa people with normal kidney function can tolerate having their kidney removed, mm -hmm. but it makes intuitive sense to preserve every kidney cell you can because you don't know what the future holds. So if early detection is so important, what should people know to watch for in terms of a warning sign? So unfortunately, there's not a good way to cost-effectively screen for kidney cancer. We can't give everyone a CT scan to look for because it would just pose risk and cost. So basically, you ever see blood in the urine, that's a very important uh, reason to get checked out. If you ever have a CT scan for any other reason, your gallbladder, hernia, whatever else, it's probably not a bad idea just to ask for that report because things get missed and if you have the report you can actually just read it and if there's a problem you can take it to your primary doctor. So you mean if you were to have gallbladder uh, issues for example and you have that CT scan done are you saying that the radiologist might notice something and write it down but not necessarily inform you the patient? Well not the radio, I mean not, not, in, that, not okay. in that fashion <laughs> but um, you know whenever you're in the ER and things are happening you know it may not be told gotcha. to you or it may have been told to you but sort of in passing you're worried about other things it is always a good idea to have your medical records sure. and majority of kidney tumors are detected in an incidental fashion where you got a CT scan for again a gallbladder or whatever other reason and sure enough there was a spot on your kidney which is uh, potentially a cancer. Is there a family connection a genetic component to this? There are several well-known well-described genetic syndromes with kidney cancer those are the exception rather than the rule. Mm -hmm. The majority of tumors, I think, are just bad luck. They just pop up. And the people who have genetic risk factors, we typically identify them early on. OK, so you're noticing maybe some, some blood, something abnormal. You call your doctor. Uh, do you go first to a urologist, or do you go to your primary care doctor? Going to your primary care doctor first is always a, a good idea. And then they can guide you and um, get you to the, the correct place. So. I, th I think going to your, your PCP is always a good option. Okay, with the robotic surgery mm -hmm. that you're able to do at Memorial, is that something that anyone is a candidate for coming into your hospital? Well, we treat all patients and all patients with cancer in an individualized fashion. Um, a robotic partial nephrectomy is very appropriate for some people. Sometimes a whole kidney has to come out because of cancer control reasons. So, mm -hmm. and sometimes you have to do open operations. So we really 
go over all the options with each patient and help them make a good individualized choice. And that's why it's so important to have someone like Dr. Mullen so you can call and go see because it's a frightening diagnosis to hear. It, is. And it takes a little bit of time before you can really comprehend all of your options. So you need someone like you guiding the way. I think so. <laughs> Appointments, uh, they can be self-referred? Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> he says give him a call yeah. at Urology Associates on Glenwood Drive, Suite 780. The phone number is 697-0072. The great news is catch it early uh, and you are going to be looking at hopefully a very promising outcome. I think so. Nice to have you this Thank morning. Thank you. We're back after this.